Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Both Barrels. My name's Byrne, this is my father Curtis. And my father stopped by First Avenue Wine a little while ago and picked up a couple of very special things. What all did you get? I w was over there looking for a port. I was looking for a tawny port. And uh, Tracy, who is also the woman who turned us on to these absolutely insanely great car cheese milk crackers. If you want to get yourself absolute hooked on a cracker, this one. People ask, why do we have all these crackers and stuff on our, our table? You know. They're palate quick, cleansers. Palate cleansers, basically. Yeah. <clears throat> and her father, who is a real port man, this is one of his favorite go-to ports. And I thought, we should try it. So that's kind of interesting. Not quite as red as I was expecting. Well, it's a tawny, so it's not going to be red. Oh, right. Yeah. So, so maybe you could explain tawny to everyone. Ruby sits either in a, a stainless steel or in a barrel, but for a shorter period of time. So the ruby maintains more of its sweetness and it maintains more of its color. The tawny, it is in the barrel for longer, so some of the sweetness goes away and the color changes from a bright red or purple that you see in the port to this lovely delicate color. All right. We also have these special glasses, and we should probably try from here and then here. We've uh, we've talked about these before. These are cool little pork glasses. They're kind of like sippy cups, and it's interesting how sipping it from the straw really changes the characteristics of the port. And it's nice to try it from both a standard glass and one of these. And if you get yourself a, a set of these, and it's well worth the experiment to do it, I think you'll find drinking port through these is actually a whole different experience. Be very careful because they are so fragile. They are very fragile. Definitely not dishwasher safe for mm -mm. sure. All right, uh, trying it from the um, trying it from the rim, it's actually not bad. It's really good. Like that yeah, very Check. smooth, kind of buttery mouthfeel almost. Absolutely. I see why why this is her father's go-to port. Look for this. Get a bottle if you would like, and enjoy it. Yeah. Well, I, I tried it from the straw this time, and definitely some of the more fruity characteristics came through. Yeah. Anything else you would like to add? Nope. Alright, any more information on port you think the people would like to know? I'm sure, but you know, they got Google. <coughs> Alright. Um, once again, thanks to Tracy at First Avenue Wine for uh, hooking us up with these, of course, and thanks to her father for introducing us to this. It's very good. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, uh, be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe for more content, of course, and share this video around if you liked it. As always, we'll catch you next time. Oh.